Uh, what do we know about Goldilocks? What do we know about Goldilocks and the three bears? How did the three bears know that Goldilocks had been in their house? She broke things, so she was a bit rough. Okay, we don't want Goldilocks as a tenant. Yep. Not too cold. Yeah, yep. Yeah. All the poetry. What did she break, Kathy? She broke a chair. Thank you, Kathy, for raising that topic. That's an amazing coincidence. Wow. I just want to talk about the love hearts. So the love hearts which we've been putting out on the seats to keep us safe. Now, sometime fairly soon, we probably won't be distancing in the same way, and we won't need to use these love hearts on the seats. But I've been thinking about the love hearts this week, because what message is the love heart on a chair sending us? Well, keep, keep away. Keep out of the seat. That's right. It's a nice way to say that, isn't it, rather than a notice? Yep. What else? That's what they meant, yes. For those people who can follow instructions, that's right, that's what they meant. But listen, the love hearts as they are at the moment, keeping us safe, are also occupying seats that other people could be on. So I'm going to use the love heart now as a symbol for the people who could be with us in church but aren't here yet. And you know, we can say all sorts of things about the sorts of church services that appeal to some people or another, and maybe, you know, you can think all sorts of things about that. I fully believe there, is, there are twice as many people, two and a half times as many people as we are, who could be in church with us. So that's something for us to think about. The love hearts can be an invitation. Who might like to come to church and be part of something, even if we have to change a little bit, to welcome them in. So that's the next stage in the love hearts, I think. So thank you, Kathy, for raising that topic. That was an amazing coincidence. Well, we actually sat on love hearts. Oh, we you did. sat we on love hearts. We couldn't move them, but we couldn't get in to any of the other ones, because there's always someone on the end. Well, that's it. <laughs> well, there we go. So there's a good start. Right, yeah. Thank you, Kathy. Keep away, but we love you. That's right, absolutely. So keep thinking about what the love hearts could mean for you. Now, Helene is going to lead us in the call to worship. So thank you, Helene. Every day is a day to be renewed, to become the people God created us to be. God calls us to proclaim the gospel for the salvation of all humanity. May we to be the presence of Christ in the world, but our creating clubs that push people away. God calls us to shelter, nurture and cultivate spiritual communion among all God's children. May there be a safe place for everyone to be Christian, to know, to struggle, and to grow. God calls us to uphold the truth. May we faithfully struggle to understand truth, so that instead of being chained and imprisoned to us, we may joyfully and completely set free by us. God calls us to be advocates for social justice. May, may everything that seeks to determine God's love make us uncomfortable and passionately counteractive. God calls us to be a visible manifestation of God's vision of and hope for all creation. May, may we live as if we truly believe that, shining light in darkness, sprinkling salt on blandness, and celebrating the joy of life that we all share together. Let it be so. Amen. 